Good morning, everybody. Um, I do a blog <laughs> on my website at uh, lynnmcfarland.com. Um, I have a blog and nobody ever reads it. And, and I asked my daughter, why is that? And she says, because nobody reads. And I put a lot of effort into it. <laughs> so go ahead and take a look at it uh, at lynnmcfarland.com slash blog. And um, I try to post something at least once a week. But uh, something that's kind of dear to my heart is about the senior population. I'm a senior resource specialist in, in real estate. And uh, something that I'd like to discuss is multi-generational housing. Uh, so we see a lot of co-housing in the younger um, 20 demographic, but uh, the 50 plus boomer generation, which is the silver tsunami, we're gonna see in the next two decades uh, that um, houses in the um, folks in their 80s, and those households are gonna be the fastest growing uh, group according to uh, joint, um, joint Center uh, Housing Study at Stanford University. So go ahead and take a look at my website, <laughs> my article if you're interested about um, how there is this uh, housing crisis here, especially in the Bay Area where the prices are very high and there is limited inventory right now, but I'd like to help. And if you are in a multi, um, uh, if you have several bedrooms, you might want to consider renting them out because there's plenty of folks that want to uh, rent and that would create passive income. But anyway, go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, but one thing that I'd like to share with you is that if you are interested in uh, finding um, homes that are um, homes that do have multiple bedrooms, say if you are concerned during COVID, um, there's a lot of restrictions in these uh, senior communities, assisted living communities, and the resources are very limited right now. Um, for example, in a personal case, my my mom, who purposely lived in uh, uh, near her senior center, her preferred senior center in Japantown in San Jose, um, they're closed. A lot of the senior centers are closed. The resources are closed. Um, assisted livings um, have uh, very strict uh, visitation guidelines. And um, so COVID has created this uh very difficult living situation. And so a lot of seniors are realizing, well, um, the cost of senior communities are very expensive and they continue to grow. But do we really want to um, limit our social interactions with our family members? So these are very tough questions. Um, if, if, for example, it's, you know, you want your um, elderly parent to live with you, do you have enough room? So these are, you know, do you want to combine your income together to purchase a home? Well, I just wanted to show you my search and how I can help you create um, a search for homes that have um, more bedrooms, as well as uh, you might want to have an office space or have adult children moving back in with you. So uh, I have, okay, so we could go in to active search and we want to say single family houses and say five plus bedrooms, that's the minimum. And say, um, we want three bathrooms minimum. And um, in a city might be, you know, Santa Clara. And let's see how many homes are in Santa Clara. And, and here are five different homes that meet that criteria. So I'm just randomly clicking, clicking here. And this one is a six bedroom, three and a half baths, and it's going for 1.7. And so go ahead and take a look at this. This one is interesting because it has a two bedroom in-law unit, which is kind of nice, you know, it's something that we were talking about. Uh, so go ahead and let me know if you're interested in finding a multi-generational home. I'm here to help you. And I hope you and your family are doing well. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. But if you need help, feel free to call me. I'm here and available for you. All right, take care. Have a good day.